Welcome to F1000 Insider. We're live from Road Atlanta for the final round of the 2020 North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com. A great weekend as we crowned the 2020 champions, had a first time winner, and shattered track records in the cool fall weather. A compacted two day schedule proved to challenge teams and drivers as on track sessions came in rapid fire. Before we take the green flag, let's see who took home the cash and prizes from the Random Drawing War. Find out more at EPCUSA.com. Hundred and fifty bucks, yay! Thank you, Scotty. Remember to vote for Trump. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, no, no. Thanks, Young Blood Wheels. Thanks, Thanks Ray Spears. Congratulations. Think about joining the series. Stop thinking. Get on the gas. Thanks, Charlie and Mike. Congratulations. Which Thank I you, Hoosier. Thank you, Terry and your crew. You've done a great job this season. For you, sir. Thanks, Hoosier. That's a big tire. In this series. It's funny, I might need this. Yes, you <laughs> have. So, wow. congratulations, sir. A 12 pack. Wow. Oil. Here's what you got here. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again to all the winners from the Random Drawing Awards, and thank you to all the series partners and sponsors for your continued support to ensure every driver wins. Following Friday practice, drivers rolled out for round 11 qualifying, and a familiar name was at the top of the list. Alex Mayer taking the MPT Industries pole position and a new track record with a 121.9. Alongside Alex was a new name to the series, first time entrant Victor Sieber in the number 28 RSC Project store. In row two, it would be Joel Haas in the number 94 Parametric Solutions Incorporated Piper and Tim Pierce in the number 81 Waterfall Security Solutions JDR. Row three, it's Steve Hamilton in the number 93 CSI Leasing EPCUSA.com JDR with Glenn Cooper in the DSR Down Under Novak Van Diemen number nine. Now getting no time in qualifying due to an engine issue in practice, the 2020 Rookie of the Year, Reese Myers, would be forced to sit on the sidelines as no one in the paddock had a 2005 Gixxer engine from the Ferrari theme store. When the green flag for the receiver hung out of the tail of Alex Mayer lap after lap and looked set to challenge the defending champion. However, a rear wing failure on the store would end Sieber's day early, being called into pit lane with a collapsed rear lower element. With Joel Haas pulling in on the white flag lap due to a fuel pressure issue, Steve Hamilton took advantage and would end up P2 with the Sunoco Hard Charger Award, with Tim Pierce rounding out the top three. On the top step of the podium it would be Alex Mayer celebrating not only the win, but a new race record as well, setting down a 122-2, earning him the Scott Young Enterprises Fastest Lap Award. Now with only two hours between race one and qualifying for round 12, the teams were put to the test, especially the boys in the number 28 tent, with Sieber's team working hard to repair the broken wing before qualifying. When it was time to roll out, Sieber did in fact make it on track, however the repaired wing definitely slowed down the first time entrant, qualifying P4 a few seconds slower than qualifying in round 11. However, once again, it was Alex Mayer earning the MPT Industries pole position with another new qualifying record, breaking his from round 11 quality runs, laying down a 121-1, and still complaining about rear grip. Some guys are just never happy. On the outside of row one for round 12, it was Joel Haas followed in row two by Steve Hamilton and Victor Sieber. Row three, it's gonna be Tim Pierce and Glenn Cooper. When the green flag flew on round 12, Mayer jumped out front. This time with no one hanging on his tail, Mayer set his sights on breaking the track record, and he did, earning another Scott Young Enterprises Fastest Lap Award and a new race record with a 121.6. However, a race win would be just out of reach as on the final lap, the chain on his Suzuki GSXR would break coming into turn 10A and being, as Alex put it, 100 feet short from cresting the hill to coast to the win. Behind Mayer's track record runs, Joel Haas and Victor Sieber put on a phenomenal show. Wheel to wheel, lap after lap. 
in the end, Sieber would come home victorious and earn his first win in F1000 Pro Racing, along with the Sunoco Hard Charger Award coming from 4th to 1st. However, once again, Joel Haas would have fuel issues and retire before the checkered flag, allowing Steve Hamilton to jump into 2nd place ahead of the slow rolling, no drive, Alex Mayer in 3rd. Dicing pretty much the whole race, I was either pressuring someone... Now following the podium celebration for round 12, the 2020 champions were crowned with Alex Mayer taking home his fourth straight North American Formula 1000 title. The battle for second came down to the last race and was tight all year long, but in the end, Tim Pierce would once again come home runner-up in the final standings with Steve Hamilton third, Riley Harrison fourth, and with his win in hard charger, Victor Sieber earned fifth place in the 2020 championship. Now joining the series mid-season, Reese Myers brought enthusiasm and determination to F1000 racing, and it showed earning the 2020 Rookie of the Year. Congratulations, Reese Myers. Now the season may be over, but there's a lot of news coming soon. The 2021 schedule is due to be released in just a few weeks and rumor has it Road America will be added to the F1000 schedule. Stay tuned. Now whenever the schedule is released, the first race won't be till most likely April. However, you can get behind the wheel of the greatest sounds in motorsports all winter long with multiple teams offering rentals and arrive and drive programs for testing and FCCA club racing events, why wait? Check out NorthamF1000.com for more information and join the greatest sounds in motorsports. Once again, thanks for watching folks, it's been a wild year, but we had 12 amazing rounds of F1000 Pro Racing. Thank you to all the drivers, teams, fans, families, partners, sponsors, and supporters. Please continue to like, share, and comment to help us continue to grow the greatest sounds in motorsports. For the North American Formula 1000 Championship presented by EPCUSA.com, I'm Dustin Hodges. We'll see you from Florida for winter testing.